Hey, so we're back here with our 2004 Honda Pilot and today we're going to be servicing the power steering system. Uh, in my previous video on this vehicle we talked about uh, how when it's cold the power steering system makes a lot of noise. So the cause of this is two O-rings, one on the outlet pressure line and one on the uh, return hose. And when it gets cold they kind of contract and let air in there when they're old and they dry out. The other part of it is the reservoir it has a very fine mesh screen in the bottom of it that gets clogged up and it has a tendency to starve for oil. So what we're going to be doing today is removing this line and that line and replacing the o-rings after we've replaced the reservoir and gotten all the old fluid out of the system. So if, first I'm going to fire it up and show you the noises that we've been hearing and we'll go from there. So that gives you an idea of what we're dealing with here and it'll be a nice before and after comparison when the job's finished. Alright, so first we're going to remove as much fluid from the reservoir as we can. To do that I'm going to use this suction gun and empty it into an oil pan. Sounds like it's pretty much empty. So go ahead and drain this out. So next we're going to be removing the return hose from the power steering reservoir. It's this guy right here. In order to minimize spillage, I'm going to go ahead and pinch that off with a pair of vice grips. Alright, I've got that hose pinched off with a pair of vice grips. Now we're just going to slide this hose clamp back. Pull that hose off. There we go. Just a single drip coming out of that one. So, now what we're going to do is connect another hose to this hose, and then we'll crank the wheel back and forth, and that'll push more fluid out of the system. So, this is the fluid that came out. It smells quite bad, and I've grabbed a white paper towel here to show you the color. I'm quite sure that that's not the color that you want your power steering fluid to be. It's at least not black, but it's really, it's like a puke green. So it's not very good looking stuff to me. Not the worst, but definitely not something that you'd want to put back in. And then I've heard a lot of, a lot online about using the the wrong power steering fluid. In other words, stuff that's not Honda genuine power steering fluid could be a contributing factor to these issues. And those seals wearing out and whatnot. So we're gonna be replacing it with something a lot better today. Alright, and this piece of five eighths heater hose fit over the end of that hose very nicely. And say it's about three feet long. 
and it's leading to this drain pan here. So when we crank the, the wheel back and forth, it should push more fluid out that hose. So the key to this seemed to be to start the vehicle and turn the wheel back and forth, obviously, because then the pump's running, it's going to push more out. That was not quite clear in the research that I was doing, but I should have guessed anyway. So we've pushed as much fluid out of there as we can with the engine running. And next I'd like to try blocking off the return on the reservoir and flushing some, some fresh fluid through the system before we put the new Honda Genuine. I did buy Asian power steering fluid. It's just the generic Preston version, not the Honda, Honda Genuine. So let's do that. So before we flush out the system, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the reservoir so I'm not pushing old stuff through the system. And the reason that we're doing this is at the bottom of this reservoir, right about here, there's a fine mesh screen. You can't really see it on camera or visually very clearly. So it's about right there. It's a very fine mesh screen and it gets clogged with stuff and it'll starve the, the pump of uh, power steering fluid. So we're going to go ahead and pop the new reservoir in. It's just a tapered dovetail mount so the old one just slides out take the hose off and put it onto the new one and I've got a piece of 3 8 hose the other one is 5 8 that will go on here and it's plugged on the other end with a, a bolt that came from the uh, lawnmower we destroyed so this is going to go in and we're going to fill it with the old with the not with the old fluid we're going to fill it with the new generic fluid that I got and flush that through the system. Hopefully you can see there's a hose clamp right here that needs to slide back. Let's get that out of the way. So old reservoir is out. You can see this one's a little bit different shape than the new one. Alright, our new power steering reservoir is in place. The inlet is blocked off, so we're going to go and fill this up with the generic Prestone Asian power steering fluid that I got. And we'll pump that through the system. Alright, we've got our reservoir filled up with the generic Prestone Asian power steering fluid, and we're going to go ahead and turn the vehicle on. We'll get you set up on the tripod so you can see this coming out into our drain pan.
Okay, next we need to replace an O-ring that's on the fitting that feeds the power steering pump. In order to undo this, there's a 10 millimeter bolt. The end of my index finger is right on it. You won't be able to see it on camera, but it's a 10 millimeter bolt right there that holds the fitting in place. It's a plastic fitting. In order to get it off, you need a stubby 10 millimeter wrench. It's key to this job. So we're going to switch over to the GoPro head cam because I don't have space to have this camera and the other one in there at the same time or in my hands in there at the same time so I'm going to go ahead and undo that and pull this line off and replace the o-ring and there we go we broke it loose so pull my wrench out of there and see if I can loosen it the rest of the way with my fingers I think I have it all the way loosened now. Pull it back. There's our bolt. And there's our O-ring. And that's really not much of an O-ring anymore. It's that's not very flexible not as flexible as it should be anyway definitely dried out okay since I'm not quite a hundred percent sure which o-ring goes in which position we're gonna go ahead and remove this fitting and we'll compare sizes and see which one's the best fit all right let's go ahead and pop that off And I think this one's going to be our larger one. We have two different sizes. So we need to pull that O-ring out of that groove without damaging the metal. Let me see if I can find a toothpick or something sharp and wooden. Okay, I was unable to locate a toothpick, so I'm going to go ahead and pry it out carefully with this sharp, flat tool. Alright, so matching up the sizes with what came off, this one is definitely the one that goes on the pressure line, and that is 91370-SV4-000. So let's go ahead and fit that in the groove and put our pressure line back on. I want to clean out some of that stuff first. Seems like a nice snug fit.
we've got these snugged up finger tight. Let's do our due diligence and look up the torque spec for these bolts. Make sure we get them set right. Okay, everywhere that I could find online has this bolt listed as 8 foot-pounds, which is equal to 96 inch-pounds, which is what I've set my torque wrench to. So let's go ahead and torque those down. do the uh, return hose side and this is the orange one that I got with my kit 91345-RDA-A01 and that fits nicely on there got our hose in place already and the bolt that we've had to fish out from a cavity down there twice now so just let's see what we can do to get that bolt in there. There's really not much space to work with here at all. Oh, I'm gonna drop it again. All right, so I went went ahead and tightened this fitting up off camera so you don't have to watch me fiddle with this stubby wrench here doing an eighth of a turn at a time but it's on there tight now this one's torqued down to spec so now all we have to do is remove the hose that we attached earlier and the plug from the reservoir hook that line back up to the reservoir fill it and then we'll make sure the system is bled out and not making any off awful noises or anything like that and go for a test drive all right the reservoir is all hooked back up hose clamps in place fittings back in place with new o-rings so we're gonna go ahead and fill it with honda genuine power steering fluid the good stuff folks and then we'll take it for a little test drive so as you can you can hear our power steering pumps making quite a bit of noise right now. So what we're gonna do, we've got the uh, front wheels off the ground and the cap off the reservoir. So we're gonna go ahead and crank the wheel back and forth and then I'll pull all the air out of the system. So as you can hear, with it cold outside, there's no more air bubbles in the uh, reservoir. No noise coming from the power steering pump when we rev the engine or crank the wheel any particular way. So we're going to clean off the old reservoir cap, put it on, and we'll take it for a test drive. Alright, so we got all the air bled out of the system. I did have to turn off the engine a few times and restart it in order, with, with the wheels off the ground in order to get all the air out of the system. Crank the wheel back and forth quite a few times and until I wasn't hearing any more noise and then we took it for a little test drive and the wife is very happy I'm happy so we're calling this a win and we saved ourselves two hundred dollars on the pump because the pump is totally fine and all the labor that would be involved in that of course I do all my work myself so can't can't really put a figure on that so we're calling this one a win and that's it for this one Thanks for joining me. If you want to see more vehicle repair videos in the future, hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit that like button. It's over here somewhere. And that lets YouTube know that I'm doing something right. And hopefully I am. So, see you on the next one.